Right guys, welcome back to the channel and with the Gloom Spite Git Battle Tome looming, I thought I'd show you how to make some mushrooms. Uh, this is a very, very cost effective way. It is, a, however, a little bit fiddly. So what I've done is I've bought some split peas. You can buy these from Asda. Uh, I got these for about 69 pence uh, and you get a ginormous bag. You can use these as rivets as well, but these are ideal dome shapes for mushrooms. And you can see I've put them face down in a box. I've then grabbed the Mephiston Red and I've sprayed the uh, box very, very gently. Be careful not to spray it too heavy because if you keep the can depressed, the lentils uh, or peas rather go all over the place. You can see I've moved some of mine. So very quick bursts, just tss, 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 like that to get them covered. Stick them to one side, let them dry and start chopping up some cocktail sticks. You can get bought loads of cocktail sticks for like a quid uh, and I've chopped these in various lengths uh, the longest being around about three quarters of a centimetre um, some of them being about half a centimetre uh, and so forth and I've stuck these in the bottom of the other side of the lid box uh, and I've given them a quick spray with Rhinox Hide and a little bit of a blast with um, Zandri Dust as well with these it doesn't matter if they roll around or get blown all over just make sure you you know, give them a little bit of covering. If you don't cover it all, don't worry, because the natural colour of the cocktail stick kind of fits in anyway. Now for the fun bit. You can see here I've got uh, a couple of them in front of me, and I've got a couple of cocktail sticks here. Now the fun in games is to glue this to the bottom of this. And when you've got giant sausage hands like mine, it's not good. It's very difficult. So, what I find the easiest way uh, is to turn it over, drop a dab of glue on the end, and then stick the cocktail stick on the end there like that. It does take a, a second or two to let it stick, depending of course how much glue you put on. And there you go. It doesn't need to be too straight or particularly neat. As long as the, the cap is essentially on the mushroom uh, and you can do it uh, slightly different, you can try it this way. It just depends what works for your hands. For me, it's a little bit give and take. Sometimes put the glue on the bottom of the cocktail stick. And then when you've done them all, you've got something that looks like this. Now if you really want to, you could turn them over and spray the other side, but I'm not going to. So I've got here my little Goblin Shaman. And I'm going to add a bit of super glue to the bottom of one of the mushrooms. And then, oh, glue it to his base. And there we go. You can add as many or as few of these as you want. You could even just add a, a small lentil uh, split pea rather just to the base like that as well if you wanted to. So I'm going to add that on there as well. There we go. So you can leave it like that, but you can paint it up a little bit if you want to as well. So now that that's dry, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch the mushroom up a little bit here. I'm using Evil Sun Scarlet. And all I'm going to do is just paint a little bit dry brushy on the top just to make the top of the mushroom a little brighter in colour. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white scar and I'm just going to dab some white dots onto the mushroom itself. It can be as heavy or as light as you want with the white scar. So you just do one or two dots. Or you can do a couple. And you can go as big or as small as you like. There we go. And 
There we go, and then let that dry, and we'll put a little bit of gloss on it. Um, what I'm going to use to gloss it is just some uh, gloss varnish. I've got some Vallejo gloss varnish here, um, but once it's done, it looks a little something like that, and there you can see the shine on it from the light. And this is my Goblin Boss on Squig, and I've added this to my Colossal uh, and my Manglers and things as well. Um, so yeah, it's that easy to do the mushrooms, very, very cheap, very quick, uh, a little bit fiddly gluing the sticks on, but nevertheless, I think it looks pretty cool, uh, and I, I like it a lot. It just finishes off the basis. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more Gloom Spike Git uh, tutorials, battle reports, and more. Thanks for watching.